Yuri, I... There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn, and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! He's been a role model for me. And now he's not around. <laughs> So you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it the Dawn died for? You of all people should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri! You never understand how I feel! I'm not tough like you! There's no way I can be like you and the Dawn! It's over! Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the Dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Timza to find Judy. Huh? Brave Vesperia will go on, even if you don't. This guild is more than just you now. <laughs> I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but...
Carol, do you think he'll be all right? He'll be fine. But... Well now, if it isn't the darling boy and girl. How very nice to see you both. Jaeger! You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palastrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yup, that's right. We just helped him form their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the Dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without the poor Dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. Even Jaeger is mourning the Dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Dawn, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Don did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Where are Carol and Patty? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air crane. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it. <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself going to come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I... I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Mmm, it doesn't look like things are gonna go quite so well. But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. 
You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desier by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. All right, let's head to the ship. understand the things that Dawn wanted to tell me yet, but Brave Vesperia is my... no, our guild, so... so I've got to come with you guys. Carol? I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why... that's why I've got to go. Please let me come too. Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks! But... Don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds. I think. Hmm, yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? Ah! Hey, old man! Ma, ah, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well... Don't you have your hands full, with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse, and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right. We'll leave it at that. Oh, man. These kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. This isn't lively. It's rowdy. Didn't I tell you that before? So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. So are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea!
Our swords for freedom, our shield for friendship, our lives for the common good. The Union Oath, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Well, the fact that Eifried's signature is on the oath is no simple twist of fortune. I. Well, we'll just have to take up the oath for Don and Eifried then, won't we? Well, Don, looks like the youth have picked up the torch you and Eifried once carried. 